All right, everybody. So starting out, you do start on a beginner island. I'm just going to read this to you. This is Life is Futile, the MMO. This is an early look. And you start on, uh, you know, what I always like to reference is a noob island. They always give them a nice name. But anyways, it's telling you that this is completely different from the mainland. The skill cap is limited to 200 points. While on the mainland, it's two times larger. All the buildings and items that you've crafted on this land will be wiped from time to time. In order to make... There's two twos there, so I'll report that. To make this area comfortable for learning and welcoming for new players. Characters and their progress is not wiped. Personal claim monuments cannot be built here. If you feel like you're ready for the real feud life on Abelia, go to the ferryman now. Alright. Let's take a look at this game. There we go. That's probably better. Alright. So graphically, it's not anything amazing. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, this is an MMO. So, gra tend to be the graphics aren't top-notch, right? And we got shut down. I, I need to look up the story. I don't really know what happened. I know there's a lot of Life is Feudal games, but I don't really follow them. I've never really played one either. This is the first one I played. This is kind of cool. I mean, all these ships wrecked here. All right, so I kind of cut through me running to the city itself. Um, here we are where you actually start most of the quest. Coke looks at you curiously, but without uh, neglecting her cooking work. Ah, uh, beautiful, huh? Who uh, who taught you your, our greeting? No one my heart saw you and told me what to say. And this heart of yours tell you you need to speak with the elder first? Okay, so, I'm just gonna say this. I like it when they add some flair to the language if they're speaking it to me. I don't want to speak it myself. I don't want to try to pronounce what they're saying to me in that weird language. I, it's just annoying to me. Voice actors, if you're gonna do that, in my opinion. Okay. I know this is uh, more of an indie MMO, so I get it. That's, you know, expensive, but just my opinion. All right, talk to the elder. Looks like they're over here. Again, I don't know why everything's so far apart when we're doing the tutorial, but... Kind of the same issue with Diablo 4. Like, why am I running around all these different cities to talk to these NPCs when they can just be in a circle for me? I know, I know, it's not immersion, but whatever. All right, another one. Uh, what might I do for you? I've been cast by the waves onto the shore of this wilderness, thus I seek the elder. Are you he? I am. I am called Sylvan, the listener, and I am the elder here. Yes, listens, I hear your will. Now tell me, son, why are you here and who are you? From whence have the gods brought you? Hold nothing back for the gods. See all, tell all. I must know all about you, and so must the gods. Speak, for I listen and determine what sort of vegetable you be. Oh, I'm a vegetable. We are humans, are you not aware? Uh, so I see two arms, two legs, even a head on your shoulders, and yet I see no seal, no mark. Which of the gods do you belong? Uh, Sevenel? The sleeper? May he never wake. May he never wake, may his sleep be eternal. May he reside in the cold darkness. Yes, listen to the gods. Oh, God. Come on. I don't, I don't care about this. I want to speed through it. Sorry. Does all this seem strange to you indeed when I first came to the shore? Blah, blah, blah. Nobody in these parts wants to talk to me. Say I may be gloom dug. Indeed, they are right. Okay. Um, all right, wait. Here is the secret prayer which can return you to your home from any place. Yes, yes. Then do not run far away. Bind a place in the house and come back to me. Once again, thank you. Okay, homecoming. To bind to a house, use to claim your home ability on the house bar. If you bound to the house, you are able to return to it using the prayer for homecoming ability. You will also return to your home when you die. Okay, so hopefully it's this easy. Bind a longhouse, yes. Mm, done. All right. Oh, now we gotta talk back to him. Yeah, that was my quest. I didn't have to run out eight miles to find something to do. What I was wanting to do. 
Hey, listen, I found a free spot. Tell me what this place is. Yeah, I'll just finish it up here. A reward? What reward? All right, uh, don't push it. Working day is yay, yeah, whatever. All right, please tell me where I can find. Tell me, no, we're good. We're good, next quest. Understood. Cruise on down here. Now talk to this person. Cell. Oh shoot, I was not. I was, okay. Have you spoken to the elder? We have spoken. Okay, you may now ask it later. First you must clean the chicken coop. For that will please the gods. The chicken cages are full of droppings and the birds perish before they even reach the kitchen cauldron. Because of the droppings? Is that dirty in there and you're gonna send me in there to clean it, dude? Come on. That's not right. Alright, got me a got me a beer. Let's do this. We're gonna clean, clean the chicken coop, we're gonna need a beer. Let's do this. Alright. You must clean the coop in the village and collect the eggs. The chickens must not perish from drip from the dung. And so you must complete the cleaning before more hatch. All right. Lead me to the chicken coop. He sits right next door. Uh, I assume I just go like this. The other eggs. Clean coop. I'm gonna do opposite this time. Nope, it won't let you. Okay. The building's still on cooldown. Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh. What's the cooldown? Oh my god! I gotta clean this shit. Literally. Uh oh. Oh! That's all I had to do is one coop? Jeez. Okay, so quest is completed up there in the, in the top right. You can see it. All right. Well, that was easy. I thought I'd do them all. I was like, why is it putting me in a timer? All right. Here is one egg for you. One. Stop! Gloom got to me. Forgive me. I shall give you the eggs. I'm lying to them. Alright. Alignment system and consequences. Players with positive alignments lose fewer skill points when they die, and have a higher chance to successfully perform religious rites, such as blessed with God's mercy. Players with negative alignments lose more skill points when they die, and have almost no chance of successfully performing abilities linked to religion. Interesting. Alignment cannot fall below negative 49 due to any action other than murder. Alignment can be increased by the daily praise your god prayer. Interesting. Okay. I like an MMO that has a justice system, for to say, or an alignment system. Alright. Cool. Moving on. Let's uh, Anybody watching the video still, first of all, I appreciate, appreciate you for watching and hanging out with me this long. Secondly, what's your favorite MMO? What was your first MMO and then what is your favorite? Please leave a comment below. I'm interested. A lot of times I find that a person's favorite MMO is the first one they ever played. Which is the case for me and a lot of my friends. Ashram's Call. Fantastic MMO. Still my favorite. Alright, praise the gods. So that should have raised my alignment. Alright. Report to SL. Really excited for uh, um, some games coming out this year. Still, we have remaining. Diablo Four has been great, by the way, everybody. If you haven't, if you somehow missed Diablo Four, a great game. Still playing that. It's been what a month and a half? It's been out now. Two months, month and a half, something like that. Fantastic game. Excited for Star. Excited for Starfield coming out. All right, let's get this done. 
Thank you, Father, for this opportunity to ease my conscience. I've prayed to every idol I've met. Tell me, old wise one, what is happening here? All right, I'm just going to go with the top one. All right. Well, Father, I shall take my leave. You know what? I kind of like this game so far. A little shaky at the beginning. See how the combat pans out. It's always a big factor in these games. Probably next, speaking of. Uh, maybe not. There's a whole health of villager quest. I see it now. We got the carpenter, we got the hunter, we got the blacksmith. The graved? Is that what that says? Huh. The peasant, the cook, return for a reward. Whoa. Whoa. Inside me. I'm right, sorry. Anyways. All right. Uh, what are you? What are we doing here, Carpenter? I have spoken with the elder. Bring an axe into the forest. Find a thick tree and cut it down. All right. So this dude's gonna have an axe for me somewhere. Get an axe. I mean, we're right by the blacksmith. It has to be this guy, right? I now have an hatchet. A hatchet, not an hatchet. A hatchet. All right, do I need to talk to you again? Because my quest marker, like, disappeared. Okay, I have it. Let's just find a tree. Chop four billets from a tree log. I kind of half expect there to be a tree log here. Is this, a, is this supposed to be a tree log? That's a furnace. Okay. It's, I find it really weird that my quest marker just disappeared when they were in the game before. I'm expecting it. You see a mature hazel. Your estimate is quality is 69. It contains the following useful resources. Four bark and 12 branch. I need billets from a tree log. Alright, okay, hold on. Whoa, hit one. Okay, that's that's an attack. Let's hit I for inventory, I assume. Okay, here's, a, here's this. When I equip. That's a long equip stage. Okay, now, oh, now it's on my one slot. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, nope, not what I wanted. Okay, I don't think I'm doing this right. I think it's like an attack. Okay, hold on. S switch it out. Snap off branch, cut down. There we go. So the first one I do, it must have been like the way to attack with the hatchet. Fall down? What happened here? Uh. Hello? Tree? Left click to perform action, right click to mark the ability to default. All right, we'll try it again. I don't know what happened there. That does say from a tree log. Maybe I, I can't cut down the tree. I have to find a log, maybe? We'll go with that for a second. Let's just find a down log somewhere. Some skinnier trees. I don't know if we can try to cut one of these down. Yeah, let's see if that works. A little bit tinier. There we go. Down she goes. Alright. So. I think I want to keep chopping it. I need billets. You received a softwood billet. Okay, we got one. We need four. I should see what that means. It says you can, like, default that action. Let's see. What's this say now? Okay, I think that... Oh, that continuously chops. Okay, that's cool. So now to keep going, I imagine. Yes. Yes, it does. Okay, I liked that that features in this game. Alright. So I got my four belts. Let's head back. Sorry, I was itching my leg there. Oh. I don't know where this came from, but... Oh, I can't chop it up. A bit disappointing. It's alright. We're gonna rock this tutorial. I was pissed. Bro, you don't want none of this. I got a chopping axe and stuff. Balls of steel. But I got your billets. All 
All right. Now the hunter. This is the guy we just left, kind of. Buddy Ryan's gonna love that. Gather basic resources. Plant fibers, flint, and branches can be found on the ground using the Look for Materials ability. Branches can also be gathered from medium and major trees using Gather a Branch. Alright, so catch, get a fishing pole. Oh, see, this is when I should have read that, because you probably told me what I need to do to get a fishing pole. I kind of sped through it. Let's see. Is there one here? Drying racks. We're going to inspect it. It's not going to have on it, though. Okay. Buddy, where do I get a fishing pole? Oh, maybe right here in this bag? Come on. Huh. I might drop a lot of stuff here. Game meat. I wonder why I can't interact with it. It's weird. Ah, oh, oh well. Let's talk to you again. Maybe I'll tell me. Where might I get a fishing rod? A wooden branch should be dang should be dandy for the greater part of it. Seek you out one in the forest. Forest grow trees, trees grow branches. Uh, we weave rope of plant fiber in this round. Find some we and weave it and fix it to a branch. Okay, cool. All right, gotcha. So we need to get the branch part, which we can do from here, I believe. Not that one. This one will do, I bet. Uh, it's not a tree. There we go. Snap up a branch. Did it go into my inventory or did it fall right there? Because I see something there. I just need to be able to highlight it. Let's see if I can. No, nope, no copper deposits. All right, I'm gonna let's let's check. We got it. Okay, so now we need fiber, which might be from here. Maybe. Hmm. I think when it's telling me copper deposits, that's kind of telling me that I'm. Not selecting anything. Whoops, I did not mean to hit that. Now, Daddy wants some fiber. Well, must be a certain looking thing. That's the thing, fiber in games can be so many different things. Usually, just weeds like that is more than enough. Undergrowth of a tree. Nah, I don't want that. I want fiber. Is this something? No, nope. still back to copper deposits. Probably something dumb. Oh, it is this. That's gonna be stupid. No offense. Oh, it did. Look at it. Look at all that stuff pop up. Okay, actually, I like that. That's not stupid. That's actually kind of freaking cool. There's plant fiber. Okay. I'm with you, game. I like that. I don't think I need very much. Oops. Stones? we need that eventually. You're an angry wolf. Oops. All right, I'm wasting time. Let's get back. Oh wait, hold on. We gotta figure out how to craft this. Let's see. C? Nope. C is first person. That's kind of cool though. I might rock first person for a while. All right, I back to inventory. Well, that's sorting. It looks like. 
Okay, it's oh, right here, I bet. Craft. There we go. Okay. Oh, we can make lots of stuff. Can I actually make any of this? We need flint. I bet we'll find it. I bet we can find it pretty easily. Produce the fishing pole! Alright, to catch a fish, equip a fishing pole and use the fish ability on the surface of the body of water. A large variety of edible fish live in bodies of water. Okay, well I'm glad I found that. Let's get this equipped. A little hard to click on things in your inventory. Not a huge fan of that. Not a big deal. Okay, put it in my three slot. I don't think there's like a fishing hot spot I need to go to necessarily. I do want to see if there's flint down here though. I can't pick up other people's stuff. Oh well. Definitely stuff people have dropped. You know one on this. What? I don't quite understand here what I'm doing wrong. Three is fish. Looks like I'm like, oh, I'm attacking with it again. Okay, hold on. I forgot. You gotta right click on the water. I think. Eh, maybe not. I should have read it better. Let's unequip it. Unequip it first. Now let's do it. Fish. There we go. There we go. A sardine! So it's, there's no real actually mini game to it, you just fish. Okay. That's alright. A lot of times those mini games are cool for like the first, you know, 100 fish you catch, and after that they're boring as shit, so I'm okay with that. Bring the fish to the hunter. some sardines. Whoa, it's harder to, like, interact with people. I have some fish for you. Alright. Help the Warren the Hunter. But I just did. Certainly, aid with my hunting I will require. Ah, here we go. Now we're gonna take out the wolf. Yeah, there's some throwing stones laying around. Whenever you, whatever takes a shot to the head, will not be laughing. Find a hare or something to kill in the woods, but don't go from for don't go far without a knife. Get the meat and bring it here. All right, I think we're gonna have to start crafting our own stuff. I know we need flint. I'm gonna come down to the beach because that's typically where you find flint for some reason. And let's see if we can right click and look for materials. Oh, we need stone, so perfect. There's our flint. But the flint makes a knife. Oh, a branch, huh? That's alright. Dang it. All right, let's see what we got for crafting wise. Looks like we can craft that. That's excellent. I don't really see like a sling. I wonder if I just really, just like, throw the rocks. I feel like a snare trap might work. I need an apple for that, okay. Alright. What was this? 
Oh, yeah, we need throwing stones. How many we got? Ten? Is that that's slant? There's throwing stones. No, it's done. There's throwing stones. Get those equipped. Apparently, we're gonna be throwing them at a rabbit. So efficient. All right. All right. So we're back. Uh, I kind of had to stop recording. Put the kids to bed. I finally did kill a rabbit. It was very hard. Throwing a rock suck. Do not recommend that. Devs, please change that mechanic. Terrible. You have to aim really low at the ground. Like, it doesn't even look like you're aiming at it and just threw it. I, I think I had 30 or 40 rocks when I started. And I had five when I was done. It took two hits to kill the rabbit. That's how hard it is. Um, I, like, I don't know. That was just frustrating. But so far, the rest of the game's been all right. I've done a couple more steps in the village request. Now I'm on dig a pit. So this is a new mechanic. Um, I found like a, this area I thought maybe might be the right spot. So we're going to see if we can dig a pit here. We got a shovel somewhere. It was handed to us. Did I already equip the shovel? Maybe I got to build the shovel. It's, it does say get a shovel. Okay, let's build the shovel. I thought for sure I saw that in this list. So, sickle, axe. There it is, primitive shovel. And we have everything we need, so we should be able to build that. Shovel built. Terraforming, press the backspace to learn how to change the landscape. I do like these little pop-up tutorials once you get an item or something and it's got some info for you, it pops this up, so that's well done. In order to dig, you need a shovel, right? To see the level of the ground around you, press F3. In order to raise the ground level, you need at least 15 units of soil. You can just drop it from your inventory or target the ground and use raise ground level. In order to flat a tile relative to another one, stand on a tile of the desired height and use the flatten ability on the adjacent tile. Okay, okay. We're gonna equip our shovel. I don't think I want to actually like pull it out. I think that's only if you want to use it as a melee, so let's see. So I need <coughs> to get some soil. <clears throat> I'm also kind of on... Oh, here we go. We have targets. Look at this. Dig clay. Is it the closest ones? Yes. Okay. Pretty far away, honestly. A little frustrating. Three hundred meters isn't fun. So numlock is your auto run. Other problem I'm having is I'm hungry. Pick these crops. Look all I get. Oh, yeah, I can. I need a sickle to perform this action. Okay, well, I don't have a sickle, so I guess I can't. But apparently you can if you do have the tools, so that's cool. Now, there is a law system, as you guys seen earlier. So I don't know if, since these aren't technically mine, I don't see anything red, like, indicating that it would cause me negative karma, or uh, whatever you call it. Make me a thief. All right, we're going to run to these pits for most of this one, finally. Hope I can get 60 clay out of the one, so I don't have to run the other. Oh, it does look like a clay pit. All right, good. Alright, so we should build a right click, use shovel, look for, create, build. Okay, I think we're just gonna lower ground. You received 60 clay, warning you are overburdened. Continue digging. Dig further. Oh, 
definitely lower in the ground, isn't it? Let's get up on this little hill part. See if we can dig here. It did make a little hole, I think. Problem is, I don't know if I'm still adding clay. Do not take that you're overburdened. I picked up a bunch of iron and stuff. That's probably what's overburdening me. A bunch of flint. Lump of iron right here. See how heavy that is? Drop it. I don't really need that much clay. They're not hard to pick up. We'll drop these. Uh, I don't need all that meat. I wonder if I can eat that though. I can't. Way much. Really, this is what weighs the most. I'm gonna eat my apples since I'm hungry. Well, I know you're tired of eating the same food. I don't have any choices right now, my friend. Flint's not really weighing that much. Stone's not really crazy. I don't understand what's weighing me down so much. I guess this clay is just what it is. Let's see, forest, forest soil. I don't want forest soil. Not terraform this land too far away from you. Try to alter the landscape. There we go. Okay, throw the soil out of the inventory. Okay, thank goodness. So, this is soil. Use bars of mob. Wait, that's not the soil. Well, that's what I've been picking up though, isn't it? I don't know what that even is. We're just gonna throw it out. Go back to the grave digger. Overburdened? No. Alright, I wonder if I need that iron that I threw down on the ground earlier. Steam sale going on right now while I'm recording this. I don't know if anybody's picked up anything good, but uh, I love finding good deals, so if you find something, leave a comment below of uh, something you picked up and have enjoyed so far, or maybe you're just holding on to until you have time to play it. Uh, not going for graphics, what are you going to call it? Low, not low poly, but whatever. Alright, uh, let's start talking here. Why, why can't I stop running? There we go. Alright, so... You place this in a special hole in the hall of a garavan. No witchcraft can sink it. I hear tell the... Okay, so that's great. Alright, so we got this done. So I dug the pit. Too late for plowing, though it's a great time for harvest. See what's there on the field, gather what's growing from the land, and bring it back to our or two, whatever. All right, so I'm gonna need a sickle, I bet. Get a sickle. All right, hold it. Oh, I threw my branches down. Damn it. Well, let's see. I don't. I don't know if it'll let me do it here. I hope the farm is out here where I saw the big farm. Looking for sticks, because I dropped all my sticks. Uh, let's 
sticks. Sticks and stones. Is that it? Branches. That is sticks. Alright, now we should be able to craft it. Hopefully it didn't take more than two. I wasn't really paying too close attention. Nope. Okay. And it looks like it is up here where the farms were. Bit of a jaunt, or jaunt, but we'll hit there. I really gotta figure out this food thing. Hopefully cooking comes up soon. <coughs> Note to the devs. <coughs> Move cooking. I, <coughs> dang it. My throat is messed up. I'm assuming after I get all these the stuff harvested that then I'll learn to cook it, so. But you might move that up on the tutorial a little bit because Well, either I'm really slow or uh, most people are gonna be hungry at this point. Eating apples and stuff. That take forever to find, it seemed like, and uh, didn't give us that much nutrition. You need to equip your sickle. I don't like how everything just kind of lays on top of each other. You gotta hit the sort thing. I mean, it's fine, I guess, but why not just put some of your inventory auto sorted? Alright, here we go. Oh yeah, cutting that massive cabbage. Cutting some carrots over here. And those are onions. These are carrots. Max. Stay over here. Yeah. Maybe run around this field. Love it. Yes, running back. Oh no, this one's pretty close. Alright. I bet we're making vegetable soup. Can't see what the next one even is, but... <laughs> Luckily the marker's up. Corn! Must be over here. Oh, no peas. Still going. There's a lot of stuff to harvest. To is it? Is that who this was? I don't even remember who this was. The bum? I don't know. Oh, this is the cook. Her, okay. Yes, I am looking for fruit. Okay, this would be the kitchen. Every village has one. I see. Great beauty, huh? Alright, I brought you the crops. Give me some fish soup. Okay, well. At least now I know how to get food. I thought I was going to cook the food, so I'm a little bit confused, but this has got to be better for me than my apples. Oh, yeah, 42. I feel like the shoe just handed that to me. the cook's children. That was a weird, very unhelpful. Oh no, I can't get more food? Oh, I should've got more food before I did this quest. Okay. Oh, and there's no quest marker. And her text was terrible. There's a swamp near some fields to the southeast of the village. You can look for the cook's children there. Okay, thank you. I needed that. Southeast of the village. Alright, uh, you know I haven't noticed a compass anywhere. Let me see if the map pull that up. Yes, okay. North is this way, we need to go southeast, so we're looking like this.
All right, so here's where the children are uh, for future reference. Anybody else doing this quest? Right there. So, easiest way to do it is to go back to where the farms are, or where the crops are. So the previous mission, where you got your crops right here, go on past it, you'll see some, like, I don't know, it looks like a graveyard to me. But apparently it's a swamp, and uh, you'll find the children. Alright everybody, so I've been continuing through, and I'm now at the one where I need to build the children a shelter. If you hold F4, you'll kind of see the outline. The blue stuff is where it's owned by the city, so you have to come outside the blue area where I'm at here to be able to start building. And uh, it's going to be a long process, and so I'm not going to show the whole part, um, but we are going to build a shack and then uh, report back to get that done. And then we're almost done with the tutorial island. After that, we can go to the mainland. Um, I'm going to end this video here, though, because I wanted to kind of just focus on the tutorial island for you. This pretty much wraps it up, other than a little bit of a grind here at the end. So, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully, it helped you. Make sure you uh, give us a uh, make sure you give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe for more great content. Have yourself a great day.